finally getting some time to uh, check out the solar air heater during the midday. Uh, the whole work thing has been getting in the way. I'm not getting home till afternoon and evening. And uh, now I'm home during the day for once and I want to see uh, how this thing is doing on a cool cloudy day. Air temperature outside right now is uh, actually quite cool at 46 degrees. So let's see what it looks like inside. Slipping through the door here. Yeah, of course, immediately notice uh, definitely much warmer in here. Temperature starting to climb. And we should have some warm air coming out of this guy. Let's take a look. Oh, I can't see that in there. Oh, yeah. Despite the 47 degree air temperature outside, cloudy and rainy, I'm still able to get some warm air out of this thing. Exactly what I was hoping. Climbing up pretty quick. Looks like I'm still going to get in the mid 60s despite the cloudy, rainy day. Looks like I can probably get to 65. It's excellent for this kind of day. And uh, the garden is obviously enjoying it. Everything is growing really well. It's only been a, uh, let's see, week and a half or so since I put everything out. Not quite two weeks. And uh, lots of obvious growth. Awesome. Alright, got a nice little sunbreak going here now. It's a uh, little past noon, so I want to see uh, what kind of performance I'm getting out of the thing here. Output here. Nice. Temperature quickly climbing. Hope you can see that in there. Nice. 87. I bet it's going to keep going up to 90 degrees here. some nice heat there. And uh, that is, you can see the air that's being drawn into it there. That gets down to you. So, looks like we got about 57 degree air going in and over 90 coming out. So I call that some pretty good performance. So very pleased with these results here. Uh, yeah. Got a 54 degree day going out here. And the fact that that thing has been able to make 90 degree air on a day like today is awesome. Better than I was hoping for. And despite the greenhouse not being real airtight or anything, it's going to help it keep very warm in there. It's working great. Okay, 1 o'clock now, and another break in the showers. I thought I'd do another temperature check here. And uh, I can really tell it's cranking out the heat now. Quickly climbing up above 85. We can see the anemometer going on top, so got a good draft going through there. I positioned it so it'll be uh, at the maximum about 1.32 o'clock. It'll have its maximum exposure. And yeah quickly cruising up over 90. Okay, I think it's eventually going to get to 100 degrees. My arms are getting tired. 
start climbing quickly, so I believe it will. I just want to do a check on the bottom here. Let's see, the air is being drawn in at a nice rate on the bottom. Shows the amount of convection I got going, I believe. And of course, on the intake side, temperature falling down quickly. Okay, so 66. And overall, the greenhouse is wow, real comfortable. Definitely, I'd say mid 70s, maybe. And then let's uh, step outside. Okay, took a bit for the temperature sensor to uh, cool down after being inside, but yeah, we're in the mid-50s on the outside, mid-70s on the inside. Well, thanks to a nice uh, passive solar air collector. It's working very well. Just to cover the operation real quick, uh, so the intake is on the bottom, it comes in through a 4-inch hose. The output is on the top through the 6 inch hose. Uh, my hope there was that I'd have better suction on the bottom, which uh, has proven to work extremely well. And uh, there's an air plenum space on the intake and exhaust side, both sides. And in between them is the solar array, with the uh, air path between the two boxes uh, being the black tubes, of course. And uh, so the, the heating of the sun. Uh, causes natural convection from uh, the bottom to the top and uh, moves some air very nicely and warms it up on the way. So it's working uh, actually better than I could ever ever expect it. And, and I'm glad because I put a lot of time and effort and money into it actually. Uh, estimate I spent probably uh, a couple hundred bucks making the thing. But it's working great. So very pleased. Okay, just past 2 o'clock, 2.30 actually. and. Uh, Doing another, probably my last temperature check out here, just to see how this thing is doing. And I'm expecting to see our highest, uh, get away, fly, highest discharge temperature as it's getting its most maximum sun right now. And judging by that, how that's climbing up, I'd say that's going to be the case. You can also see by the anemometer that uh, the air is really moving. Boom, there we go, 100 degrees, just like that. Climbing fast. I must say I'm very pleased with the performance I'm seeing out of this thing. Nice flow for just convection powered. Holy cow, we're going to get right up to 110, aren't we? Let's see if it's going to get there. Not quite. Pretty close. Close enough to say 110 degrees. Boom, there it is. Okay, so... 110 on the bottom. <clears throat> we ought to have a good draft going through this thing on the bottom. Or at the top, I should say. Should have a really good draft on the bottom, which we do. Drawn air in at a good rate. Let's just take a look at the wind speed here. There it is. So drawing the air in at two miles an hour. And exhausting it out. They're moving. It's the right mode here. Move back to the temperature again. I just want to see what kind of temperature increase we're achieving here at the 
highest point in the afternoon where it's getting its most direct sun. Looks like the air is going in at about 69, going out at 110. So call it 70 to 110, 40 degree rise in temperature. And uh, that's really exactly what I was going after. Uh, what I've seen other ones, other people have built, have done about 40 degrees. I was hoping to achieve the same and uh, successfully have. And eventually this is going to be a bunch of really happy plants in here who are just growing madly. In this wonderful hot house condition in here. Well, that broccoli is growing fast. Alright. Overall, I'm going to say this solar air heater is a huge success.